Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Theorem 8-3 says, when the altitude of a right triangle is drawn, the leg of the original triangle is the geometric mean between the hypotenuse and the adjacent or the near part of the hypotenuse. Alright, so let's take a look. Notice that AB would be a leg of this triangle. Let's focus on that leg. AC over here, of course, is the other leg, but that'll be on the other side of the triangle. So let's focus on AB as the leg. This theorem says that the leg AB is the geometric mean between the entire hypotenuse, which is BC, and the near part of the hypotenuse, which is BD. All right, so when you write your proportion, because the geometric mean is a proportional relationship, the leg goes in the lower left and the upper right positions of this proportion. And the entire hypotenuse, which we'll just label HYP hypotenuse, and the near part of the hypotenuse, which was BD, goes down the lower part of that proportion. So that's the basic idea with this theorem. Now, let's try an example. Let's try an e Let's find the hypotenuse BC if we know that the leg AB is 3, and we know that the short leg of the smallest triangle is 2. So the hypotenuse is divided up into two parts, a 2 section and an unknown section DC. Still, we should be able to find the entire hypotenuse. So, let's write our proportion. And remember what the theorem says, that the leg, which in this case is 3, is the geometric mean between the entire hypotenuse, which we will call X, and the near part of the hypotenuse created when we draw the altitude, that's 2. So when we cross multiply, 2x equals 9. And of course, solving for x, we get 5, or excuse me, 4.5. So the entire hypotenuse is 4.5. And of course, we can fill in some more information saying that then dc must be 2.5, if we were curious about that. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.